we're doing this again. The guys are looking for some cheap, instant mad and ultimate team coins. Check out muttmarket.com. Use code RBT. Yes, RBT. For 15% off your purchase. What happens when an NFL franchise has to declare for bankruptcy only two months before the season begins? Which forced the franchise to relocate across season having all current players opt out of their contracts and having even below average NFL players reject contracts. Your only option is to go out and sign a bunch of players that no other NFL team want anything to do with. Welcome to the Rejects Madden 19 Franchise Series. Off-season time, your rejects about to have a massive off-season. So if you guys missed it, we did do the full entire off-season stream on the channel. It was like a four-hour stream, and I know everybody can't watch a four-hour stream, but we did do the off-season free agency. We did do the NFL draft, and today this is going to be highlights of that stream. It might be cut into two separate videos, but I know a lot of people wanted me to make it into like an edited video because not everybody can watch a four-hour stream, but a lot of stuff did happen this off-season. A lot of stuff we do have to go over, so obviously the episode a little bit different as it is just going to be stream highlights, but hopefully you guys enjoy nonetheless let's get into it welcome guys to the rejects off season stream a lot of stuff is going to be happening in today's stream i want to do this in the stream to have you guys involved in all of the decisions in the off season the players we sign the free agency the guys we draft because we did it off stream it would just be me and i want this like series to involve you guys as much as possible but with this being so long and not a lot of people not everybody being able to watch a stream live I'm probably going to cut this into, probably edit it into one or two videos, depending on how long the stream is, and then we will start the regular season ASAP. But thank you guys for joining the stream. If you guys are watching this video, thank you so much. This series has been easily the most successful series I've ever ran on my channel, so I'm so glad you guys enjoy it. But with that said, it's time to get into this off-season stream. What we are doing first is we have to go over the players that retired. I had nothing to do with the players that retired. It was all, like, just how life is. They retired if they wanted to retire. There we go. Now we can see all the players that retired. Because I, I did notice there's been a lot of players that have retired in this series. And a lot of players we have to replace. This is how all the free agency works right here. We got three points throughout the regular season. For each one we got, we got seven. Because it's 21 total points. Plus, for the off-season tour, every one we got was an extra two points. We got three wins in the off-season tour. So it gives us a total of 27 points to use throughout free agency. So you guys see the split right here. I mean, if we wanted to, we could sign freaking three 90 overall players, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. We're going to have to like, see what's the smartest, thing to, the smartest way to go about things when we see who all is available in free agency. And also, we have to pay the dub, like double the player's asking price. So like, it might be hard to get a lot of 90 overall players because they're going to ask for like 20 mil. We had to pay them 40. This will probably end up being cut into like two episodes, so we'll see. Why did PewDiePie randomly start talking through my phone? So the players that retired, the players that retired, uh, a lot of Shamrocks retired. It's going to be sad to see some players go, but that's what happens when you got 40-year-old players on your team. Ryan Khalil retires. Ted Ginn retires. Uh, Julian Edelman retires. Can we get some rips in the chat? I'm scared to go down. Brock Lesnar played three games for us. Chad Johnson retires. Ah, that's guys, that's why I said in the, uh, I, I knew, I kind of saw some of the players that retired in just like it just happened. I just saw it before we did the offseason four videos and I saw Chad Johnson had retired. He was one of the guys. I didn't know Brock Lesnar had retired. Well, I said in the last episode, it might be the last game Chad Johnson plays it was. Poor freaking Chad Ochocinco. Gave us a nice run at four years old, but he's gone. Ray Rice retires. Who else? Ben Jacobs. Why did he retire? Dog, he was like five. And why did Ray Rice retire? Honestly. He's like, he's not even that old. It's like 30. But God, four players already retired. Vernon. Well, we're going to need a whole new freaking team. Ben Jacobs, Vernon Golson, Ray Rice, Chad Johnson. Ben Jacobs. To be fair, Ben Jacobs never played. Vernon Golson had a great off-season tour. And I guess because he just was like, dude, I'm done after this. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Um, anybody else? Albert, oh, Albert Hainsworth. I mean, it's not like he was great or anything. That's just, that's sad, though. That's sad. Why are they retiring after six years? Like, bad. Martin, no! He was one of my favorite players, dude. And that's it. So there are your Dublin Shamrocks who did retire after the first year. Brock Lesnar, Chad Johnson, Ray Rice, Ben Jacobs, Vernon Golston, Albert Hainsworth, and Mark Hersley. Nothing too awful. We will be getting, obviously, probably a couple more wide receivers. Have to probably sign a D-tackle because our D-tackle depth is, like, non-existent. Ben Jacobs didn't start for us. So, I mean, it was quite a bit of starters, but that's a little sad. But uh, looking at some of the other players that have retired, um, Marshawn Lynch is gone. He was just a free agent. Danny Amendola. So nobody really... I thought that there was going to be more retirees than this. Offensive player of the episode for the game against Alabama, Nathan. So we're going to give Nate a plus one. Um, defensive player of the episode for that one goes to Hayes Pullard, of course. So Hayes gets a plus one. Dude, he might be like an 80. Dalton, one player of the episode for this one. Uh, we're giving him a plus one. And on defense goes to... Oh, uh, hello? Um, oh, that's upsetting. That is upsetting. This is the last one. Justin Blackman gets a plus one. We'll do this at the end of free agency, by the way. We won't do this just now because I know everybody wants to get in free agency. Defensive play of the episode goes to... Will it... Oh, oh that sucks. And why did I put William? I'm a moron. Oliver Warren donated a letter. How did you donate a letter? That's not a numerical value. It says he donated A449. What type of currency is in letters? Here it is, boys. Are we ready? Are we ready to see who's a free agent? We have 134 million available cap room, 27 available free agent points. You have to be... Perfection. Absolute perfection. I think... It's gotta be. It's just got to be. It's just gotta be. It's just gotta be Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon's a fat. We gotta offer him. So, he wants 7.5 mil, which means we have to, unfortunately, offer him 15. But I think that will be worth it. We'll give him 15 mil salary. Because, once again, we have to double their asking price on their salary. And why not just go ahead and offer him seven years? Bruce Irvin. He's 32, though. Ugh. Unbelievable. On. <laughs> the straw poll. Oh, man. It looks like a no. It looks like a no, boys. I gotta go with the majority. Where did Big Boy go? Is he like a free agent for some reason? Why would he be a free agent? He just decided to leave. Okay, Laquan. Do we re-sign him? He just freaking left. He, his contract didn't run. It wasn't supposed to run out. It, <laughs> he didn't retire. He just freaking left. He just freaking left. I'm, I'll offer him like, I'll offer him this. Give him a three-year deal. But, like, why did he just freaking leave? Like, why did he just go? Like, I don't understand. Anyways, Randy Gregory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that'd be a good one. Randy Gregory, what do you guys think? So, I think Randy Gregory is definitely the move. Definitely the move. So, he will cost us five points. That'll leave us with 13. 13 points. Yeah, I think this is a for sure one. Um, he wants five mil. We'll give him five mil. Hopefully, yeah, we're going to get him for sure. Outside linebackers, Ryan Arakpo, Sean Lee, he's kind of old. I'm not going to be surprised if you guys want him. Um, I think this is going to be for sure. It is going to be for sure, isn't it? Yep, oh, freaking chat's going wild. Yep, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I did pay double. I did. I, I doubled his asking salary. 
Yeah, I, I yeah, this is this is for sure. This is a for sure thing. It, it's wow, that's actually perfect. Everybody wants them. Yeah, I did. I, I am doubling it. See, he he's asking for a two point one million per year contract. So I'm gonna go up to four point two mil. I think that's. I mean, that's fair. I'm not first on Griffin's board. Are you sure? No, 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 no. There's no way. Thank you. Whoever said that, thank you so much. I doubled his asking price. And we're still 20 points behind the Dolphins? Well, that's weird. That's freaking awful. Uh, let's go ahead and double his signing bonus, too, I guess. We'll give him a 2 million a year signing bonus. That's not, not a big deal, really. That's got to be enough. That's like quadruple in his asking price. Yeah, that, that's that's a lot of money. That's, that's a lot of freaking money. <laughs> Well, that's the most I've ever seen a free agent have. So this will leave us with four points. That will leave us with four points. So we need to double this up to. We'll go. We'll go round it up to four. The score. We'll go ahead and double a signing bonus too. Nico Gathers, you guys wanted. I don't know the story on him. I don't know the story on him at all. Let me look this up. Rico Gathers. Everybody said they want him. Rico Gathers. He played college basketball. Okay, that's right. I, I know who this guy is. I know who this guy is. So is that the man? We get a tight end. He'll be our starting tight end. We'll have Tim Tebow at the number two. We'll have Tim Tebow at the number two. I think that's actually pretty sick. Give him five mil. We'll give him a... We'll just, we'll just do that. Yeah, I was definitely doubling his, his asking price. Boom! That's it, boys. That is all our points for free agency uh, used. My negotiations. Uh, let's go to. Can we just go to all? Well, these are the players that we offered. Josh Gordon was. The points. I'm not even going to say the points. They're allocated for already. Josh Gordon, Sula Cravens, Randy Gregory, Shaquem Griffin, Rico Gathers, and him. Because he, we didn't. He's offered a minimum. He's a moron. He freaking left the team. What a freaking a moron. But dang. Like, this thing about the team we started with, and already, like, although people wanted Nick Bosa, blah, 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 this, if we would have used Nick most, we would have uh, signed Nick Bosa, we would not have been able to sign a starting strong safety, Randy Gregory, like, you know, I think, I think we did some good business here, unless somebody declines for some reason. I think that's some decent business. I think everybody just signed off the bat. One, two, three, four, five, six. But did I not? I could have swore it was seven, wasn't it? Am I stupid? I feel like that's not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, we got them. So if you guys are watching this as a video, they've been signed officially. Your new Dublin Shamrocks from this offseason from the free agency allocated all of our points. We used all 27. Josh Gordon, our marquee signing, comes in. Him, imagine Josh Gordon and Justin Blackman as your one-two punch at the wide receiver core. Like, this or this offense is about to be mental. But keep in mind, we had to sign some, some crazy contracts. Seven years, $137. It's a lot of money, but it's part of being a Shamrock. It's part of this dynasty, this franchise. Um, once we do end up making the playoffs and winning a playoff game, we don't have to do that anymore. But at the time being... We have to, uh, to bring in free agents. We have to double their asking price to convince them to come. We got everybody to uh, sign the contracts. Josh Gordon, Sua Cravens on another pretty big contract. Strong safety, 70 overall. We needed a strong safety, so he fits right in perfectly. And he's young still. Randy Gregory, still pretty young, 27. He's going to take over for Daquan Bowers. He, 6'6", 242 pounds, a menace at the right end position. He should be an upgrade for us. Our defense is getting a big upgrade here. Shaquem Griffin as well. Randy Gregory, Sua Cravens, and Shaquem Griffin. That's that's a huge contract. We had to offer from two, $50 million for a 70th overall, but he should be a beast. Rico Gathers, former basketball player at tight end, and this freaking moron for some reason decided just to leave us, and he's back now, but let's go. Let's freaking go. That's a pretty big upgrade. Hey, now. Brings us up to a 60 overall. We went from a 57 to a 60. Look at our team, man. The Shamrocks coming together.